The 2015 ITU World Cup Series reached the halfway point with the fourth event of the year in Huatulco, Mexico. With the temperature having risen a few degrees prior to the race, 63 elite men lined up on the beach for the 750 metre swim in Santa Cruz Bay. In such a big field, getting a good start would be key. And Mexico's Irving Perez did just that. With the field gradually getting stretched out over the duration of the race, it was Perez that was first into transition, just ahead of Germany's Maximilian Schwetz. With Perez already off on the 20-kilometer bike, a steady stream emerged behind him. But there was soon a lead group of seven before they tackled the hill climb for the first time. But a quick look over the shoulder, and they would have seen the large group behind preparing to bridge up and form one large pack before reaching the main part of the climb. All the main contenders were now in this group after the first lap, and it would be a question of who would be prepared to force the issue and try and instigate a breakaway. It was Frenchman Orion Lesquieu, last year's third place finisher, who collapsed metres from the finishing line to cost him a victory, then hit the front and stayed out on his own for two laps before going solo took its toll. Despite having built up a good lead, he was caught in the latter stages and the large group entered T2 together before heading out on the two-lap, five-kilometre run. Italy's Davide Uccellari was first out onto the run, but having held a small lead over the opening 600 metres, he was joined at the front by Perez, who was looking for his first World Cup podium since finishing third here two years ago. Two distinct groups could be seen in pursuit of the leaders, Austria's Thomas Springer, one of the athletes in the first group. Perez was starting to feel the heat, but halfway through the first lap he'd lost to Cellari and built up a healthy lead. Schwetz was running on his own in second, with Ul Cellari now well back in sixth. As Perez neared the finish, the large Mexican crowds lining the street showed their appreciation. Schwetz in his first international race was impressing, as he gave himself a good few seconds over the chasing pack in second spot. The USA's Kevin McDowell launched a brave effort to try and catch Schwetz over the final 500 metres, but that effort took its toll as he was caught and passed by Springer. As they hit the blue carpet, it was a delighted Perez who became the first Mexican to win this event. And the first didn't stop there. Schwetz and Springer came in behind to claim their first ever podium finishes with silver and bronze, respectively. Today was my day. It's my first time that I win here in one World Cup. I'm so happy with the national team, the support, my coach, the family of my coach, with my family. I'm so happy with the result. Thank you. Yeah, I saw the video of Lescour uh, from last year, so I was kind of like frightened, uh, although it was a sprint distance. Um, I felt it this morning, but uh, that it was much uh, hotter and uh, more humid than the days before. So I, I went a little conservative. I was, I guess I was first out of the swim, that was really good, I, I didn't expect that. And uh, then on the bike I just uh, hold down to the group, and then on the run. I think after one and a half laps, it, it, I felt kind of like Lescure last year, I guess, but I managed to, to get my legs uh, above the ground and managed to stay before the third. It was kind of like close, uh, but I'm, I'm so excited. It was the first World Cup in Huatuco, it was the fourth place, and after this I broke my hip, and it was a long, long time to back, and um, I have problems and problems, and was 2003. Um, seven down World Championship Series in Kitzbühel and after this one a new operation and this is a long way and um, I'm very happy it's I hope it's uh, the first step for the good results the next time the training is very better and better and better and in hope the next years I come back 